Hey guys, this is Conspiracy Todd again, and I need to add to last night's video. Some of my friends over on this uh, Facebook page, The Moon Landing Hoax, pointed out that there is a fourth area of fraud on this uh, Apollo 16 video that I was talking about. And that is right here, when he jumps... He jumps up to the top here. All of the sand, by the time he reaches the apex of his jump, all the sand has already went back to the ground. Now that's not how it works, or it shouldn't be how it works. That's a pretty outstanding picture here, I tell you. Come on a little bit closer. Okay, here we go, a big one. Off the ground, one more. There we go. Yes. That's a pretty outstanding picture here, I tell you. Come on a little bit closer. Okay, here we go, a big one. Off the ground, one more. There we go. Yes. Found this video of this uh, volleyball player here, and watch what happens when she jumps here on Earth. I've slowed it down, obviously. She goes up, and then she's got this sand over here, and the sand lands at the same time she does. Let's watch that again. Okay, watch her feet here. She brings some of this sand with her, and it's in the air, and then it falls at the same time she lands. One more time. Okay. You'll watch right here. She's up in the air. This is about her apex. The sand is right here. And it's going to land right over here. At the same time she lands, the sand lands. That's how things are supposed to happen with gravity. Two objects, you know, a tennis ball and a bowling ball, if you drop them from the same height, they're going to land at the same exact time. Now, a feather won't because the air holds it up. But if you've got a lead feather, and a bowling ball, and you drop them at the same time, they're going to hit the ground at the same time. Still climbing the side.
let's go back to this Apollo 16 video again. So he, and I've got this slowed down to as slow as it'll go. So he jumps. He's bringing some sand with him. By the time he reaches the top of his jump, the sand has already hit the ground. And then he's going to do it again here. His second jump. Same thing there. The sand has already hit the ground, and he's just at the top of his jump. So, that's fake. How did they achieve that? I think they had suspension wires on him that held him up and kept him from falling at the, the rate of gravity. But the sand, you know, they couldn't stop the sand from falling at the rate of gravity. Because if they were really on the moon, the sand and the astronaut would fall at the, back to Earth. I mean, by, well, it actually is Earth. They would fall back to the moon, or in this case, the fake moon, at the same speed. because gravity acts on everything equally. Anyway, that's just one more element of fraud that we can find in this video here, Apollo 16. And if you want to find this exact same video, here it is. Um, so in re to recap, the first one that I saw was uh, when he jumps, he doesn't seem to jump very high, weighing uh, in at 60 pounds. You know, he's 30 pounds, his suit is 30 pounds. So that's the number one thing. Number two, when they switch places and this guy turns, the flag moves, and I think it's from the air coming off of the back of his. Well, I'll just show you here. Okay, and then here's the second element of fraud. When he turns, this flag starts waving back and forth. I think it's because of the air that's coming off his backpack. And then the fourth element of fraud, see how he's doing the moon hop or the moon shuffle? Well, he's walking like uh, a normal person walks, you know, one foot in front of the other. He forgot to do the moon shuffle. So anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video. Please like, subscribe, and uh, give me some comments below. And thanks for watching.